commanded you to murder your wife or children to prove your faith in God. Dr. Shrek, I'm only asking if you would murder your wife or children to prove your devotion. Um, yes. Um, the answer is yes. Um, the answer is yes. Then later on, I'm going to explain to you why it's yes. Let's keep watching. Dr. Shrek, God commanded you to murder your wife or children to prove your faith in God. Is your current devotion not enough to prove your faith? Must you murder your children as Abraham was instructed? This First is of all, I don't know what I would this do. Is, this is a simple yes or no question, Doc. I, I don't know what I would do in Abraham's position. That's a good question. You know who really struggled with that? Soren Kierkegaard, who wrote a book called... Um, is your faith strong enough to murder your own on, children Cody, or, Cody, or wife? I'm thinking, and since I'm from New Jersey, it's really hard for me to do. So give me a minute. Uh, the word, the, the, the book is called Fear and Trembling by Soren Kierkegaard. So I don't know what I would do. Just like I'm never going to say if somebody put a gun to my head or a gun to my wife's head, what would you do? Because Peter tried that. I'll never deny you, Lord. And what did he do? He denied, he denied it three denied. times. Yes. Yeah, at the so crucifixion. I don't know what I would do. Okay. But let me point out, if your friend is an atheist, there's nothing wrong with God doing anything because by atheism, there's no standard of right and wrong anyway. So in order for you to bring up the objection, you're actually stealing a standard from God in order to try and say God doesn't exist. Dr. Shrek, I'm only asking if you would murder your wife or children to prove your devotion. Um, yes. Um, the answer is yes. Um, the answer is yes. Then later on, I'm going to explain to you why it's yes. Let's keep watching. Simple question. I don't know what would happen. And by the way, when God decides that someone should die, it's not murder for him. Because God kills all of us at some point. And he's the only one that can resurrect us. So we don't have the right to murder people. But God has the right to kill people anytime he wants. He can strike me down today, tomorrow, anytime he wants. And it's completely in his prerogative. Go. Okay. Um, so Cody, um, not sure if he's an atheist or not, but he has some questions about whether um, Frank would murder his family to prove his devotion to God. My answer is yes. It doesn't matter. Mother, father, brother, sister, cousins, relative, yes, I will kill them all. Let me explain that. Now, some might say, well, man, if you open your TV, you're a murderer. Why would you do such a thing? Um, let's, let's look at it in, in God's point of view. Okay? Let's look at it in God's point of view. Where is God sitting? God is sitting way up there. You can't even see it. And he's looking, at, he's looking down in, on earth. Now, not only that, he can see way in the future. You know what? Let me actually bring it down to the human terms for you guys, atheists, that do not understand. Let's say you are standing on, let's say the, uh, the World Trade Center was still there, the building, the building, and you were standing on top of the World Trade Center, and you could get a clean view of the landscape and you can see somebody with a gun like let's say you see your brother with a gun walking toward your cousin little cousin and you know he's going to shoot that cousin when he get close and you have the power to tell your cousin hey I need you to kill my brother. You see, when you look at, when atheists are looking at when God said to murder the Canaanite, the Melchite, the Amalite, and everybody else, they're thinking, oh, God is evil. Funny. Let's put it into their perspective. Let's say God told me to kill my family members. I would. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. 
Because what if what they were going to do is an evil act and the only way to stop the evil act is for me to kill them? Because I'm pretty sure if God told Cody the... Um, do I have him here? No, I don't have him here. If God told Cody to kill somebody he hated, maybe he would. But I think he would not. I mean, tell you why? Because he would not do it because if to him, if that happens, that's wrong. But if God were to tell him, I need to kill these people because they are going to murder your family, would he do it now? I'm pretty sure there's no one who would say, Oh no, Lord, I do not kill. Now, some would probably say it, but as I said, that, is, that question is too easy. The answer is yes. Yes, I would murder them all because if God said to do it, I don't need to know why. Because I know, based on my, and of course that's the uh, experience talking to you guys, based on my personal work with God, whenever He says to do something, trust and believe. It is for your own good. <laughs> I'm not going to tell any story, but you know, sometimes I decide to drive speed limit. It's like, before I even get in the car, there's a voice like God is telling me, hey, today, drive speed limit. And then I'm like, you know what, today, I'm going to drive speed limit. And then little did I know, there's an accident about five minutes from me. Or less than that. Sometimes, when you do that, when you get that voice that tells you, hey, do this, do that, and you do it, you then realize, man, if I had gone faster, it would have been me in that car accident. But because I listened to that voice, I got to escape the accident. Cody will understand that because he is not, um, he's an atheist, or maybe he's playing an atheist, but, but so far so good. Um, I'm going to stop right here because I don't want to make that one too long. I'm going to make a part two of that video so I can see exactly where he is going with all of that. So guys, don't forget again, this is again the Open Guard TV. Um, hope to see you guys again. Until then, bye for now.